Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I'm Tats, and today we're going to be covering another quest in the indie game Infernax. Now, it is very important, before you do this quest, if you have not done the Red Skeleton quest, you will not be able to do the Bridge quest. These two are intertwined because this allows you to sleep, thus allowing us to find these guys after dark. So, if you haven't, go watch my other video on the Red Skeleton and then come back. If you are here for the Bridge, then let's get on with this. You will first have to come to the inn here, and you're going to talk to good old Josephine. We helped her out with the Red Skeleton last time. Go ahead and talk to her. She's going to ask, uh, you look tired. Would you like to rest? And you're going to go ahead and accept that. And this will lead us into the nighttime. Ooh, the spooky moon. Kidding. Now, this actually is my first time at night. I'm doing this. Uh, I'll just try to do this as a one-shot video. So, once you do that... We're going to go back towards where we originally did the Save the Farm quest. So as always, I will guide you the whole way, do a little commentary, talk to you a little bit, and I don't know, maybe be able to get you guys to come watch me over on Twitch. You can see a lot of content over there. Well, these are different. I'm guessing those are like banshees, ghosts, I don't know, but these are different than our green friends during the day. So it looks like when you come in here at night, things get a little more uh, complicated. Um... But if you're leveled up, you should be fine. So far, I'm not having any struggles with them. So you're going to drop all the way down. And looks like the eyeballs are still floating. Oh, there's those naked mole rats. Those ones right there. Those jumpy ones. Why don't watch out for them? They're ferocious. So you're going to find the bridge down here. Now, normally there's a spear and an axe sword down here. But it looks like here they are. Let's see here. Now, this is my first time doing this quest, so last time I saved somebody or like let them go, they turned into a vicious monster. So I don't trust this guy. I feel like there's gonna be later consequences. So we're gonna show what happens when you fight him. Cause it just, just seems like a patchy situation. Oh, I will grab my insolence. All right, here we go, boss fight. Hope you enjoy it. Well, that was easy. Thank God for shield. Thank you, Mana. All right, after that, we are going to go turn this quest in. If this video has helped you, be sure to throw a like to it. Comment down below if you're having fun with this game. Or if you want, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more top tier amazing game content. Well, I'm really selling myself short there. I'm just an average gamer just looking to help people out. Also, again, if you want to follow me on Twitch, it'll be linked down below. I do stream a wide variety of games over there. We talk a lot of anime, horror, and just anything in general that floats our boats. I do appreciate anyone that watches these videos. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If I've helped you, I'm glad, and I will see you in the next game.